welcome, it's Vasco from the Angular University and in this lesson we are going to learn how to use the RxJS concat operator in order to do multiple consecutive HTTP requests. So it's an example of how HTTP observables are easily combinable using plain RxJS operators. Let's take a couple of examples of HTTP requests that modify something on the server. Let's say we have a request for deleting the first item in the lessons list and a second request to delete the second item in the lessons list, the building your first component lesson. We can do this by, for example, using the RxJS concat operator. The concat operator takes several observables and creates a combined observable. Let's see exactly how that works. We're also going to use a third request, which is we want to reload the data that is present on the server after the two deletes occurred. So the sequence will be first delete, wait for the reply, second delete, wait for the reply, reload everything from the server. What we can do to do these requests in sequence is that we use the concat operator and we're going to pass it the delete first, delete second, and reload observables. Let's have a look at what this will do in a Marvel diagram. So, first we have the delete first observable. So, concat will subscribe to this observable and it will keep receiving values from this observable. Other observables on the list will not be immediately subscribed to. So, what happens here is that the delete first observable is going to complete. That's what this pipe here means. So it completes and so concat subscribes to the second observable on its list. When it subscribes, it sends another delete request to the server and it will receive the result of that delete and it will also complete. In that case, concat subscribes to the third observable of its list, reload, and this will trigger a list of lessons that gets received from the server. When delete second completes, concat will subscribe to the third observable that it received, the lessons observable. So it will emit a GET request to the server to retrieve the new list of lessons, which will no longer contain the ones that we deleted. When the reload observable completes, combined will also complete. Now, let's subscribe to the combine observable and let's output its values to the console. Notice that the combined observable also emits values whenever a delete occurred on the server and we cannot really present this to the user on the screen. We are really only interested in the lessons, the new lessons that came from the server that don't contain the deleted lessons. What we want to do here is to wait for the combined observable to complete. So we are going to use the completion handler and when that happens we are going to assign the content of the reload observable to our lessons observable. Notice that when we assign reload to the lessons observable, this will be passed on to the async pipe, which will subscribe to this observable. This means that if we don't use cache here in this reload observable, a get request would be issued twice, which we want to avoid. If we now try this out, so the first two items of the list should be deleted. So the third item says component input, how to pass input data to a component. This should show up now in the beginning of the list. Let's try it. We click delete and the two lessons were deleted as expected. We're going to see now other situations when RxJS operators can help us achieve commonly needed tasks doing Angular 2 HTTP. It's coming right up.